Are you wondering what to eat to stay healthy? I know I always am. And here to tell us about it is our good friend, Timmy Hagenberger. She is the nutrition professor. And today we're talking about, you may have guessed, cauliflower. Cauliflower is good for us. Oh, yes. Who knew? No, cauliflower is part of the cruciferous family. So that means, yes, that means Say it better than broccoli, I do. collards, kale, cabbage. All those yeah, good ones. These are the anti-cancer. Cauliflower on its own actually has some really interesting disease promoting properties. It'll protect the lining of your stomach. Oh. So it can reduce ulcers. Chance of getting an ulcer. That's amazing. Yes. No, Just by eating cauliflower. Yes, yes, yes. And it's how much should we be eating? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> so these cruciferous vegetables, a cup and a half to two cups, two, three, four, five times a week. Okay. Ooh, that's yes. a lot. And cooking with them though, I mean, do we cook any of the nutrients out when we... Well, we'll talk about this. We're going to show, this is one of the most versatile vegetables on the planet. So I'm going to show you in the kitchen how to do all kinds of things with these. They, um, let's pick one out. So see, we have three different sizes here. The size means nothing. Oh, okay. Okay, so as far as taste, texture, nothing. doesn't mean anything. Okay. All it means is how much you're going to have to work with. Mm. Okay? So this, so this is a smaller one. one. Mm -hmm. Now, what we want to look for is not many dark spots. So this one actually looks really, really oh, good. that looks gorgeous. There are, even if there's just a little bit of discoloration, don't worry. Okay. And I'll show you how to take care of that in the kitchen. Just cut But that no, this is beautiful. We don't want any flowering. We want nice green leaves. When these grow, they're just completely covered in green leaves. Mm -hmm. That's why they're white. So this lack of sun exposure is what keeps them white. There you go. So we don't want any flowers. We want some nice, healthy leaves. And packed tightly. Packed tightly, the little exactly. little flowers have to be packed tightly in there, huh? That's it. So we're home with our cauliflower, and the first thing we need to do is wash it and cut it. And there are a few little brown spots on this one, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Absolutely. Don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> so we just want to rinse it. Okay. Okay. And this, it's not dirty, but we just want to, and then these little oh, brown spots. Oh, it comes right off. Comes right off. Okay. Easy. And that's it. And then we want to take off the leaves. Okay. And the leaves, I save and use them in soups. Oh, I that's a great idea. Okay. Use them in stir fries. Okay. So now we've got all the leaves off. And the way that I cut it is I just cut down from the stem. Okay. Take these big pieces off. Uh -huh. Now we're gonna make a cauliflower tabbouleh. Ooh. We're gonna use cauliflower as a grain. So we're gonna do that That's in the idea. food processor. That's a great idea. Where'd you get that idea? That's a great idea. Oh, we, it's around. People are starting to use cauliflower in so many different ways. You're right, I have seen it in a lot of things. And now we're just gonna pulse until it's the right consistency. Okay. So we don't want a puree, no. and it won't because it's not cooked. It does but look like it it's a grain. It does. Yes. That's crazy. And see how easy that was? I mean, you don't have to worry about how you're cutting it. Okay, and if you want to look to see, is this the right? Look how pretty That's crazy. it is. That's crazy. That is crazy. It looks like grain. We're gonna now make the tabbouleh. And we're gonna start with some lemon juice, but whenever we use lemon, we always wanna use the zest. Okay. Just remember, skin cancer prevention. That's right. So we're doing this with a microplane and getting just the zest here. Getting all of it, using the yeah. whole thing, huh? Oh, I do. Okay. And we love lemon, so we can just add that right to the cauliflower. Everything's gonna get mixed up. It always adds a nice freshness, too. Oh, you know? it does. The flavor is really nice. So we're gonna add some lemon juice to this and I have some started here for us. And this is going to be now a grain-free tabbouleh, so we are gonna use that cauliflower, but we're also gonna use parsley, and parsley is an amazing vegetable in and of itself, and people don't even think of it as a vegetable, but it's fantastic. I love this because I love tabbouleh. But for those folks out there who love to believe, and this is gluten-free, right. which is great. This is gluten-free and way lower in calories. That's amazing. So we're going to do a third of a cup of lemon juice. Can we start mixing this? Sure. All right. And Let's then we're going to add soy sauce for our little bit of salty flavor. We want to balance out these flavors. So this is reduced sodium. Soy sauce. Okay, get that in there. And then we're gonna use some veggie broth. And I think oh. in this veggie broth with a little bit of arrowroot, you can do that with cornstarch. Oh, nice. And so it's gonna give a little thicker. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
nice little. All right, and now we can add the rest of the ingredients, which will be tomatoes. Get those in there. Tomatoes we know are good for us too. Excellent. Cucumber. Gotta have that really. And then I was telling you about the parsley. Oh yeah, gotta have a lot so of that. So the traditional Lebanese oh. patchouli has more parsley than anything else. <laughs> it does, yeah. Now mint. Don't forget about the mint. Oh, the mint is going to be important. And then we're adding some garbanzo. Oh good, I love garbanzo beans. So this is something that not only will be ready quickly, I mean, it's basically done. It's done. Do a little bit of pepper, but you can also have it for lunch for the whole week. Oh for yeah, work. that's a great idea. You can put it in Tupperware, a little glass container and take it to work. And look how gorgeous this is, look at the colors. Look how beautiful, I know. Since I worked for this one, I'm gonna take a little bite. Okay, <laughs> and you can, if we need to add a little more, Salt, if we need to add a little more lemon. I mean, mm. it's just by. That's great. Do it just by taste. The lemon is great. Has a great freshness to it. And it's you not cold. Look at that. It's, it's cauliflower. cauliflower. It's crazy. And it's not going to get soggy. So you're going to be oh, able to. Point. The flavors are going to even get better as time goes on. And if you want a little garlic, that's not traditional, but. You can add that. Oh, absolutely. Really, you can add anything. I you mean, could. Definitely. If you want red pepper, whatever you'd like to add. But this is a great base. And people would be hard pressed to figure out it's cauliflower. It's <laughs> the secret ingredient which yes. is in here. Yes. This is awesome. Again, you guys need to make this out there. All the details are at our website at CaliforniaBountiful.com. So you guys can check it out. It's pretty darn good.